Carpers. Well, we've arrived at the lake. Uh, there seems to be a couple of lads on the lake at the moment, so I'm going to have a look round, see what, uh, see if any have come out, uh, see if they've got any information for me that maybe help me bank a few more. You know, because it is always good to uh, to ask other anglers on the lakes. You know, where it usually works. And as I've only fished this water once before, um, which was back in the summer. Uh, a couple of years ago, so I don't know an incredibly lot about this lake, but we will uh, we will prevail and uh, and see what we can uh, see if we can have one out. So, but if you want a quick look at the lake, this is probably the end that I'm going to go and fish because this is the deeper end. I know that from past experiences, and with the temperature at the moment in time, it is only two degrees, so it is pretty chilly. So they're probably going to hang in the deeper water plus there's a lot of snags over here as well which I'm going to sort of fish to so yeah I will update you with more when I uh, when I've got set up and everything else Hello, Carpers. well another installment thing is I didn't have chance because I was late to the lake uh, to make the rigs up um, for you all to see but well as it's pitch black outside but uh, I will go through tomorrow when it's light um, all the uh, baiting up that I've done um, I'll tell you a little bit more about the lake um, the rigs that I've decided to use what pop-ups I've decided to use where um, you know and all the, all of the necessary information um, so now I'm just gonna chill out a little bit and play on my phone probably <laughs> but uh, yeah I'll go through all the rig setup and everything uh, using all the RJL stuff from hooks to boilies to, you know blah de blah blah all right thanks see you soon bye hello carpers well uh, it's now nearly 12 o'clock at night and they I fed a certain area earlier and I didn't hear anything or see anything for quite a while it got started probably get about 9, 10 o'clock and it just turned on uh, the carp boshing over the top of me constantly uh, constant liners um, you know so I, I, I kept myself you know kept my spirits up and everything thought well, that's nice one the first lot of action I've actually seen on this lake first bit of movement by a fish and they were going probably for about an hour and a half over the top of me uh, big swirls three or four carp at a time big swirls coming up on the top of the water but unfortunately I still haven't had a bite yet there are a lot of liners though uh, I've just put in another kilo because I thought well if they've smashed through all of that then they, they're going to be wanting some more so I've, uh, I've just catapulted in another kilo and hopefully catapulted it over a bit further over where I was as a you know the first lot of bait that I spread out over a, a larger area. This time I've, I've brought it a lot closer uh, to where I'm fishing and well hopefully, and it is hopefully, that uh, they're gonna switch back onto that spot again and they're gonna come in and they're gonna take that little pop-up that I've got out on the bottom. Well I'll keep you posted people and uh, see you soon. Bye bye. Alright folks well back in the bivvy now so I'll let's see what happens if you don't hear from me tonight. It's probably because I haven't caught anything. And I'll be uh, I'll be on in the morning. Alright, well Hello Carpers, back again. Right, just gonna show you my rigs. Uh, I said I would do it and uh, I've actually brought the rods in now, both rods in, uh, to bring them in, check everything's alright, swap the one over to a different flavour, uh, which then I'm gonna then rebate with uh, out in the, in the water because I'm moving one of my rods because I've had no action on it basically so here we go this is the rig that I'm using at the moment there we go there's a KD with a 10 mil pop-up 12 mil pop-up with one of the uh, pop-up weights that you can get from uh, a well-known brand I've also got a semi well a part uh, stiff hit rig as you can see this is the stiff section, boom section and then a bit of exposed braid at the bottom so it can turn and do everything it needs to do in the water 
uh, as you can see. Then we go further up because obviously the bottom's a bit of up and down. I've made it a bit longer. Go up to one of the cog leads. Now you can get these from RGL Bates. He does do them on a normal uh, lead clip system. And basically that is what I'm using on both rods, not just this one. Um, like I said, as you can see there, that is one of the curve shanks from RGL Bates as well, uh, which the hook hold was fantastic, to be honest with you. Um, and that's about it really. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rebate my left rod. I'm going to stick that in a different position now, where I was seeing the fish show last night. And then I am going to uh, recast, rebate, and uh, well, <laughs> staring in the face of adversity really, as it is still trying to snow. Uh, there are flakes coming down. Um, obviously, it's freezing cold, but we will uh, we will endeavour to get you another fish out. Well, hello, carpers, and uh, we're here on a freezing cold day, and I mean freezing. It's actually trying to snow at the moment. Now, last night, we uh, we had a carp out, and I mean, it was just as cold last night as it is now. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I thought I'd run you through a little of what I've been doing, and what has produced me my bite. Um, so yeah, but what it is, is that I, I've used two pop-ups over a bed of bait. Now, I'll show you the areas I've baited in a second. Um, last night, they were as you have heard earlier on in the video, that they were topping like mad. Uh, straight out in front of me at the moment. I mean, this isn't where I, I, I'm obviously fishing from because I'm on a, uh, a bit of a jetty. But uh, as you can see, that is where I'm pegged up. And if you come across the rods, and then the yellow marker out there, The yellow marker out there is uh, is roughly where I'm fishing. I think I'm fishing just over to the right here somewhere, which is the deepest part of the lake. And uh, if we go, that, so that's obviously where I'm fishing at the moment. The other place that I'm fishing is out in front of me here. Now, all along this uh, line of trees, I've baited up all the way down here, and this is obviously goes round. It dogs legs round to the other end of the lake. Obviously, you can't see that. But uh, what I did was I baited all along this tree line, all the way to sort of mid water, and then round over towards this bank here. Because so I thought, well, if they're migrating, if it gets a bit warmer in the day and they migrate to the shallower water, which is at the opposite end of the lake, they will uh, they will have to pass over this point at some point. So I thought, if I get a better bait out along there, because they're following the tree line, or if they go open water, then they have to go over the top of the baits. Now. This rod, I've had a few liners, even though it had been back leaded now because I was getting so many liners from the, the fish last night. Um, and I thought, you know what, it might be spooking them off my bait because they're coming in contact with the line. So I've back leaded it. But anyway, this rod hasn't done me anything at the moment, but that rod out there has. And uh, like I said, I had a, an eight pounder, but I mean, it is desperately cold to the point where um, it is, it is actually trying to snow at the moment, which gives you an idea of how cold it is. Um, but yeah, the le deepest part of the lake is by that yellow buoy. Um, so obviously, the colder weather, they're going to be held up in the deeper water. Hence the reason I baited it up. Now, I only put two kilo of bait in over that um, at first. Well, a kilo at first, because I didn't want to overfeed them. Uh, you know, obviously it's been cold, everybody's like, oh, keep it down to a minimum because you're only picking for the odd bite. But with the way that they were coming off it last night, then, you know, I, I piled another kilo in after the activity had stopped just to see if I could get, um, get them feeding again. Anyway, obviously it worked because at four o'clock this morning I had a take and I had a little eight pounder out, which granted any other time of year you'd be like, you know, maybe not as happy as what you'd have been with a 20 or 30 or even bigger. But it was well, well received because, you know, it's it's horrible to come out in these conditions and not catch. And we have caught, and obviously this is my first vlog, so it would be nice to have a, a fish out for that. But yeah, 
so that's that was my thinking behind it obviously it's paid off on the one rod now it's got to roughly about dinner time now and my right rod he hasn't had any action hasn't had any real you know anything that happened to make me want to keep my rod in that place so what i'm thinking of doing now is i'm going to swap over to one of rgl's other new baits probably the banana um, violet one and i'm going to stick one either side of the yellow marker right so i'm gonna have one to the left one to the right now the one to the right i'll probably keep on the strawberry jam as that is what's already worked uh, but the banana i think i'm going to stick over to the left hand side here which i've been told is a deep hole there uh, i haven't had the marker rod out because last night it was late when i got here so i couldn't really properly mark it up and um i've had a fish so there are fish in the area i don't want to spook them away uh so i've just left things as, as they are but uh yeah that is my approach so far it has paid off to a certain degree i mean obviously i would have liked some bigger fish but it's not to be at this moment in time but there is going to be another one of the boys come down here uh, richard is going to, is on his way over he's going to spend the night here as well and then we'll see if we can get you any more carp out of there i will at some point go through the rigs of what i've used and the size of the boilie the size of the hook uh, so you can have a look for yourself but uh, that'll be all for now and uh, i'll speak to you soon bye Right then folks, we are now packing this gear up as it's been a difficult, difficult session. Um, you know, we've uh, it's been more or less minuses the whole time we've been here. And uh, I mean, look, how, rich, how cold is it, Rich? My tea started to freeze. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, it has, it has been very, very cold. I mean, I haven't taken this hood down the whole time I've been here, um, even in bed, because it's been that freezing cold. But uh, no. Obviously, the conditions have been stupidly hard. I mean, to have two bank, two banked when we've done really well, um, you know, I think it's more luck than judgment. But I do think that it's probably the bait that have won out. We have, we're the only anglers. Well, we've been, there's been four anglers on this lake. Um, I did give a couple of freebies out to uh, a guy who was on the opposite bank who had a screaming run but missed it. Uh, unfortunately it would have been nice to have another fish out on the bank on our jail baits but we have tested out another two baits which are the strawberry jam and the banana violets which have both caught um so i think that says it all really done it rich yeah i think so it's been a good session cold yeah. definitely cold <laughs> it has um but we just wanted to say from um, the rgl team thank you ever so much for watching our little video um we do appreciate it and hopefully we'll meet you all on the bank at some point and uh, you can try out some of the baits as well you know we have got a, a full range of things as you've seen in the uh, in the promotional video that we've done um, if you want to contact us there is a website rglbaits.com or there is the Facebook page which is rglbaits again can I just say it's rglbaits.co.uk not com my mistake I do apologize um <clears throat> yeah so like i said we uh, we appreciate you watching the video and uh, hopefully you'll get on our baits and hopefully you'll put some fish on the bank and if you do write into our facebook page give us an honest review and uh, we will be uh, more than grateful uh, thank you once again and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon on the bank Bye bye